summertime in the triad. A way that we know that is that there are plenty of opportunities <laughs> to hear live music in our community from local artists and musicians. And one way in particular is through the Eastern Music Festival. Ooh. So they are kicking off their season tomorrow. It sounds exciting. So this morning, we're going to be learning much more from Erica Frazier. She is the festival's media and communications director. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Well, I see you've already got some star instruments there in the background. You've got a pretty big, that's a bass behind you, correct? Or is it a cello? That is a bass. Oh, uh, it's a bass, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a bass I can tell by the side. I used to play the cello for a okay, minute, so okay. I'm not, not an expert at all, Erica. <laughs> but I know that you also are some experts. You're going to be telling us a lot more about the Easter Music Festival and the ties that it has to the triad. Sure. Um, so the Eastern Music Festival is a five-week classical music festival. It happens at Guilford College, and we are about to lean into our 62nd year of hosting the Eastern Music Festival. Um, the Eastern Music Festival is also a nonprofit organization, and we are focused in both performance and education. So our population is professional musicians as well as upcoming pre-professional musicians who are ages 14 to 23. So it's important, like it's been around for 62 years and counting and wow. it's a really, really great place if you are trying to dip your toe into the professional orchestral world. Very cool. I, do, I play the violin, but I don't fall into either professional or <laughs> even pre-professional. I'm a couple steps uh, before that, uh, but if people want to hear it's something, a, it's okay, me either. <laughs> <laughs> something in common. Uh, so, if people want to hear your great music, though, you have both free and paid performances. So, when are those? So, our first paid performance starts on June 27th with the Eastern Festival Orchestra, but they run from June 27th up until July 29th, and we have programming every day except for some Mondays and one Wednesday. So if you're looking to come out to the Easter Music Festival, you've got millions, well not millions, but tons of opportunities. <laughs> uh, we've got 60 plus different things going on and there's really something for everyone because you can come see our young artist orchestras, you can come see the Eastern Festival Orchestra, which happens on Saturdays, you can see chamber music, and then also there's lots of free stuff to do like there's young artist recitals that happen at the Eastern Music Festival that are completely free. And then we've got a big open house that happens on the Eastern Music, or on the campus where we invite everyone from the community to come on down and they can come for an entire day of free music. And um, these opportunities, uh, they're not that expensive. Um, the Eastern Music Festival tickets run anywhere from $10 to $45 maximum and no ticket master fees. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a great opportunity if you wanna come bring some young ones or maybe someone who hasn't ever heard of, well, heard of or seen orchestra music. Um, like I said, there's 60 plus different opportunities and it's really a very amazing place and I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this organization. Wow, yes, we can tell. If you could also inform us on who the guest artists that are playing Saturday night who are, the, yeah. who are they? And they're with the Eastern Festival Orchestra, right? Yes. So the Eastern Festival Orchestra is our faculty orchestra, but it's made up of 60 plus musicians from all over the country. And so all of these people who are top class of their game come to the Eastern Festival Orchestra and they play. Mm. And they also make up the faculty who teach our students. So it's amazing. And this year, they're going to be joined by William Wolfram on the piano. Uh, Gil Shaham on the violin, uh, also an amazing pianist who is only 28 years old, his name is Drew Peterson, and we're really, really excited to have him. And then we'll also be bringing Awa Dodge and Pratt, and I'm really excited about this one, Winifred Felton, who was the 2022 Rosenschaffel winner, is going to be coming and playing a bassoon concerto. I'm especially excited for him because he just graduated from UNCSA, and so it's kind of a fun local concert to come to. That one's going to be on July 8th. I can't wait because that's Gil Shaham and Winifred Felton. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> wow, awesome, Erica. Thank you so much for your time this morning and for everyone watching at home. You have plenty of chances to attend a concert and to see a full schedule of the 2023 season. Just head to easternmusicfestival.org.